And as I said, I am back at it, back in it, right back into the action of recording more Ghost of Shimmer. I literally just finished the last episode. I cannot stop today. I'm having a good old time playing this game. It's really fun and it's really great. And if you guys have not played Ghost of Shimmer, consider picking up this game. It's really good. It starts off slow in a kind of sense where you kind of feel a little underwhelmed by the game. But oh my goodness, does it pick up as you start making progress into the game getting those amazing upgrades and finding all the amazing gear but for me mainly and the most important thing is the world exploration i love it i love ghost of Shima's setup of creating an environment where they like well how you play this game is you fucking go from point to point to point to point to point i love it i love it fighting a couple enemies along the way getting some upgrades along the way look learning more about the game and the environment and how to play it like i figured out that standoff is broken and i've also figured out that kunai's are broken so you know just amazing absolutely amazing so we're actually going to cross the bridge quickly uh because i want to finish off that little section so i am going to be crossing the bridge onto this other side of the river the forbidden land the land we were never allowed to tread and uh, we're going to quickly kill all these uh innocent mongolians who have done absolutely nothing wrong they were just minding their own business, having a cup of tea maybe, even a cup of coffee, if you will. I'm sure Mongolians have coffee, they love coffee. I love coffee, who doesn't love coffee? What was up, motherfucker? Yo, master, thank you. Okay, I feel you, I feel you, you're pretty good. But I'm fucking better, bitch. Oh, I pushed the wrong button again. God damn, Dark Souls controls! Dark Souls controls! Stop it now! S stop! <laughs> I keep pushing the Dark Souls controls. <laughs> God damn Dark Souls controls. <laughs> um, anyway, here's another banner of Sashimo. Sashimo banners! And on that Sashimo note, once again I want to thank our semi-sponsor for this Let's Play on my channel, a very good friend of mine who has started doing YouTube recently and is releasing content at a pretty amazing rate, so if you guys want to check that out, he makes amazing content. His name is Flipfile and here's what he does. What is happening guys? My name is Ryan or Gamertag content creator name is Flipfile. Welcome to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Another purpose of this channel is to play games in my style and bring you content that you guys might enjoy. We have to have fun, explore new games, explore older games, and just have fun with it. Welcome, thank you so much for stopping by, and we'll catch you in our next adventures. Let's see what this intro video looks like. The Cetacean Assassin, the Sperm Whale. Cetacean Assassin. Holy shit, that's a big boy. Whoa, whoa, dude. Level 60, holy shit. Yes, guys. 0 0.07 seconds, or 0 0.7 seconds. My word, best time. Shut the fuck down. Except it's the wrong house, brother. Let's go, Jin. Let's kick some ass, buddy. Look at that reflection. Sick. Sweet. So if you guys want to check them out, that is the link in the description below, as it's said in the video. And then consider it. Consider it. Um, I think if you want quantity, like a lot of content, he puts out a lot of content. I have watched a few of the episodes myself, it's really difficult because he plays the best games, which mean that I can't watch them all specifically as I do not want to be spoiled for those games and the contents of those games. But yeah, definitely go give him a check out. Uh, this Ghost of Shima playthrough would literally not be happening without him. So thank you very much. A, for giving me something to put out on the channel that just looks amazing. But B, uh, just for reinvigorating my love of gaming, Ghost of Shima has really brought back that desire of wanting to play more games, of wanting to play games every day, instead of where I was in a slump, in a position where I was like, uh, I'm not really in the mood today, or I'm tired from work, or many other reasons that were that were causing me not to want to play games as much. But now, Ghost of Shima has shown up, and Ghost of Shima is like, well, 
hear you tired. I hear you're not in the mood. Well, let me put you in the mood. Let me make you play a game that makes you want to see what happens next. So, yeah, I just want to I just want to dedicate that that time to a shout out and a thank you. So, without further ado, let's get these arrows. My arrows now. Thank you very much. And uh, head on in the game and make some progress. Just took another sip of my coffee there, as I've mentioned in previous episodes. You know, we don't want to, we don't want to drink on camera, like, uh, or not on camera rather, but with sound. It's not, uh, it's not pleasant for everyone. So, a little bit of um, compassion to the viewers that do not like the sound of drinking or can't stand it. People, this is actually out there that physically can't stand it. It actually hurts them physically, almost like certain things, like myself. And I watch bad people that are bad at something receive any form of praise or recognition for being bad at it. I get physically angry and ill, um, mainly because I come from a, a family situation or a, a growth, growing up situation rather, where you had to be the best and you had to always win. And if you didn't, well, stand off maybe. No! <laughs> Mm. Yo, Master Tiny, man, I didn't understand. I didn't understand what was happening again. Can you guys not just stand still and let them stab you to them? Maybe move or run or do anything? Come on, man. Come on, man. God damn. Okay, wait. Where is this? What is this? Rushing water. Stance progress. Ooh, oh, this is the leader that I have to kill. Hmm. I mean, I want to kill the leader. I'm not even scared of the leader. It's nothing like that. I just didn't want to cross the river, man. I had rules about crossing the river. God damn. Man! Can these people just run? Or at least attempt to escape instead of, you know, standing fucking still and getting murdered? I don't know about you guys, but I wouldn't just stand still and be murdered. I would at least attempt to fight back or run or do something. I mean, come on, dude. Okay, this area? No, it's not the area I'm thinking. Where's the fuck's area I want? Area I want has to be like there somewhere, right? Yeah, yeah, like here. Hmm, very interesting. So let's see. Look at this guy. They understand what's happening. They don't know how to. They don't know how to react to what's happening. Except that guy. That guy's a, he's an archer. Oh, you found me! You found me! Congratulations, good sir. That was actually pretty fast. I'm a little bit impressed. You're dead, but before you died, I was impressed. Excuse me, good sir. Archer, I didn't even see you, dude. That's how you should arrow, by the way. In case you guys are wondering, that's how you should arrow. What he was doing was very bad. I mean, I got like five out of six headshots there, I think. Or four out of six headshots, maybe. Hello, 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 hello. It is, it is I. It is I. You guys know the rest of the joke. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. Because you know it. It is I. Hello, it's a guy. <laughs> I think it's so stupid. I know how fucking stupid it is, but it's so catchy. I can't help it. It just sounds so catchy. I don't even understand. What is this for? Do so you get in here and you like inside and I like, can stealthy kill everybody? I don't. I don't. I don't understand what the point of that is. But okay. I don't want to cross the river, guys. This is actually pretty cool. The way uh, the Japanese design their little homes and houses and things. I think it's really cool. Also, like, I don't think there'll be many fish in this river. This river is very low. It's very, 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 very low. Look at this. Like, there wouldn't be fish this, like, not even knee height. Come on, dude. At a waterfall zone? I don't see fish swimming here. I just don't see it. I mean, I don't know how fucking fish work. Don't get me wrong. 
not pretending I'm some kind of knowledgeable fish fucking catcher or person. I have zero eye fucking idea. But at the same time, I'm, it just doesn't seem to me like a, a great place to set up a fishing zone. You know? Oh, oh that's just a core under. Nothing in this. This fisherman's place. Okay. So they're not very good fishermen either. They don't even have any fish. Okay. The, the problem is everything is dropping cool now. Should we go clear this out quickly? I mean, it's not it's not on our zone. It's not on our path, and it's also across the river, which is against the laws of my gameplay. But you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. I'm in the mood to kill some shit. I don't know. I'm, I'm in a combat mood right now. I feel good. I'm feeling good, man. Those fucking headshots were sexy and made me feel like all confident and Gucci. You know what I'm saying? You see that guy over there? You see that guy over there? You see him? He's chilling. He doesn't fucking know. See that? You see all these guys? They're all chilling. They don't fucking know. Okay, how am I actually going to approach this? Are we going to do stealth? Take like the bridge. There's some long grass here. Rushing water crossing Mongol territory. One Mongol there. One Mongol there. No Mongols in the stands, which is good. Don't see any Mongols over there either. That should be good enough. A bear invaded the Mongol camp. <laughs> and he's fucking them up! <laughs> you go, bear! Yeah, bear fucking him up! Oh, he died. I mean, he was fighting four people by himself. That is, that is a manly motherfucking bear right there, dude. That is a manly motherfucking bear right there. That's all I'm gonna say. He's like a fucking Mongol army? Like fucking five of them and a leader and a bunch of people that all get spears. I don't give a fuck. I'm a bear, dude. Ooh. Why are there two guys all of a sudden? They oh they all on alert because of the bear. Oh, all the enemies are on alert because of the bear. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. I don't know if I like that or not, actually, but... Mm, they're still all on alert. They're still all on high alert. I wish I had a quick assassin. Let's go. There we go. Be alert yourselves, motherfuckers. Fucking bear. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, fuck that bear. That, that bear is fucking legendary in my opinion, dude. Okay, so I don't see any prisoners. No white blocks. Or white people, sorry. Just red people. Which mean no prisoners, just enemies. Ooh, hello, dude. I see you patrolling. Looking for Jin. But you can't see him because he's fucking like a ninja. He is just like a ninja. He is just like a ninja. And you that. Oh my. But I just slit that dude's throat. They didn't know fucking shit. So we've got two guys here. That's all. The rest of them are here. Okay. 
That's fine. Oh, oh, hello. That guy's a problem. That guy's a problem. Depending on where he's positioned, he's actually a big problem. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, those guys, I can't take these shots stealthily without being seen by these guys. Yeah, yeah, no, it's impossible. If I, ooh, ammo. If I go for these two over here, these guys over here see me. It just is what it is. Sir? Kill observe Mongolies to learn more of critical strike. Cool. <laughs> Need a kill? I pushed the wrong button again, so I fucked up again. That's okay though. Was that a perfect parry? No, this guy doesn't give a fuck, he's like, bitch, I'm not playing this game. These guys don't know I'm here. They do not know. I got you baited. I'm trying to do a perfect parry because it's so that's what I need to do for the bonus. Ah, I keep pushing Dark Souls buttons. I keep I keep pushing Dark Souls buttons. I really need to. I really need to learn these stupid controls super quick because this is getting annoying now. I keep pushing box and I'm wasting kunais. A lot, a lot of kunais. Like a lot of kunais. Like, it's, it's not even funny how many kunais I've wasted, guys. Because in Dark Souls, you push R1 to parry and R1 to attack. And in Ghost of Tsushima, you push R1 to parry and you push... There were two bears! There were two bears! There were two bears! Two bears just decided to come fuck up this Mongolian camp. They're like, fuck these Mongols. They're destroying our trees. Where are we supposed to sleep? There are no freaking trees left to sleep in. Kill these manga and they died unfortunately, but I still think that it was very impressive. It was a very impressive attempt by the bears. <laughs> but two bears, they just decided, fuck this Mongol camp. We we gonna go beat the shit out of these Mongols. I'm sick of their shit. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm j I just love. I'm in love with those bears right now. Absolutely in love with those bears right now. What the fuck? There's a random house there. Why would you put a why would you put a ladder going into your camp from behind? Technically if I had known that I could have just snuck in and killed you all. I don't know if I got the special objective. The special objective of course well, that critical strike thing was pretty cool. Um, that's the first time I, we've seen that in the game actually. Um, I don't know if the game has explained it or I just haven't been paying attention or if it's something that's new that I've unlocked. I'm not entirely sure. All I know for what I've seen sure is that's our first time we've done a critical strike, so very very cool very cool nothing up there we have to check on top of all these things because sometimes we have found artifacts and things on, and notes on top of these before so nothing up there either we do need to because my controller is vibrating right now which means there's a mongo artifact or something nearby um it's probably in the house i'm gonna assume but you know i'm gonna check around first there we go. Mongol artifact. Mongol plans. Mongol leaders craft detailed plans on how to infiltrate enemy territory and gather first-hand knowledge of defense systems, roads, crops, water supplies, and more. They also send spies to plant dissension among enemy warlords and leaders and employ propaganda design to convince the local population that the Mongols are liberators of the poor. Smart. Fucking smart. I mean, like, the problem I have in Ghost of Tsushima right now is they're making the Mongols just seem like they're fucking smart-ass motherfuckers. 
that know exactly what they want to do and what they want to do is l take control of all the territories and they have a plan to do it you know they're not just some stupid motherfucking people running headfirst into enemies and being like yup what's up running headfirst into enemies like an idiot and getting my ass handed to me so this should be liberated now yes completed we did it okay um i want to go check out this really large weird looking house up here by the way Hello, very large, weird looking house that's semi burnt down, I guess. Very odd. Very odd. Very, very odd. Hello. And now, do I understand that I'm exploring the other side of the river, which was not part of our game plan? But. Oh, is this the outhouse? Nice. Uh, but as we have come to understand, uh, the river is not actually going to go all the way through like I thought it was originally. It actually curves and turns, so you know, it's kind of impossible. That's a pretty nice house. It's a pity that there's nothing in it. It's an empty house. A little bit sad. <gasps> But okay, let's climb up. <laughs> there has to be a secret here. I mean, this is, this is not easy to get to, game. Interesting. For me, that's, this is a very interesting house design. I want to know why it's designed this way, first of all. Second of all, I expect there's some kind of secret item or something I can collect here. But it doesn't seem that there actually is, which is confusing me. I feel like there should be though. Because I, I can get here and it's, it's not somewhere I can just get to naturally. I have to actually like do a little bit of, little bit of extra work to make it here. I want to get up there. Doesn't look like there's no items here. Okay, that's fine. We'll leave. It's okay. I just wanted to check it out. Um, one of those weird shrine tree things again, with a bunch of dead people hanging from. Okay, dude. At least at least up oh, there, no, some of them were hanging by the neck. I was gonna say at least. Oh, that guy's hanging up. So that's fucked up. I was, gonna say, I was gonna say at least most of them were hanging by the feet, but no. Can I cut these people down or burn the tree down or something so that they don't have to hang there until the crows eat them? Oh, bugs, or at least until they decompose and fall off and then get eaten by the bugs and shit on the ground and stuff. I don't know. Sweet. So we this is kind of like an area, like a no-go area. So we want to go back here. Uh, that is the Valley of Sake, which is where we're going. But I want to finish off this section here quickly. And then we'll go across to this section over here. So it is still, the river does actually flow all the way through. That is actually cool. So the river does actually flow all the way through. It just also splits off. So it's, a, it's like a triple, it's a triple split uh, at some point. Which is actually, it actually works out great. Because then it splits it off into another area I can explore. Which is actually perfect for me and how I like to play the game. So that's actually really cool. Okay, so as you guys saw there, I was trying to parry someone to kill them. Because I saw one of the bonus objectives for that Mongol ca clearing of that Mongol camp was a perfect parry an enemy. Uh, which led me to taking a lot of unnecessary damage and stuff because I fucked up the barriers, of course. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do that in the future. It's almost like when we did the previous log camp, we had the situation where the um, where we had to get three headshots with the arrow, bow and arrow for the bonus. Now, I don't know how important these bonuses are and whether I need to do them or not. But if it's something that's doable, I'll do it. Uh, you guys look like. You guys look like normal Japanese. Did you guys move in already? I I literally just liberated this area like 10 seconds ago. You guys moved in already? Bam. Mm. You guys waste no time. You waste no time. I like it. I like it. Oh, sucks to be you guys. Okay. Um, Sweet. Let's carry on following our beautiful river part. Working out actually, this is actually the strat of following the river. 
and exploring the map like that, almost like in a circle, uh, inward circle form, is actually working out pretty good. Okay, to find a lot of Mongols and things along the way, we find a bunch of secret shit, we kill a bunch of stuff, we get some goodies. Nice, I like it. I like it a lot. Some bamboo over there, I'll get it. A uh, flower over here, I'll get it too. Are those Mongols? Those are deer. I just, uh, I thought deers were Mongols because I'm so alert on Mongols now. Those are foxes, right? Oh, bird! Bird, take me home to the place where I belong. Mr. Birdie, lead me to the super rewards. Yes, you can. Follow the bird, bird, bird. It will lead, lead, lead me to gear, 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 and probably Mongols. Nope, just random people, which is kind of cool. My did lord, you, did you leave me here? Have you come to help the Azamo League too? I guess. I've never heard of them. Farmers and fishermen banded together to fight the Mongols. I've come from Ariake to train them. I admire their bravery. How is the training going? They were supposed to meet me here hours ago. I was about to look for them. I'll ride with you. Uh, no? Fort Tsushima. Oh, Fort Tsushima, not Fort Tsushima. <laughs> Fort Tsushima. <laughs> I almost said Fort. Because it sounds cool. Fort Tsushima. No! We're on the wrong side of the river. No, don't do this to me, game. Wait, also, before that, I'm going to explore this fucking area. Hello? There's 99% gonna be gear here. Follow the woman to the farm. Return to your ally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's, I don't have the countdown yet. As long as the countdowns are going, it's fine. Man, I think I shouldn't follow the bird, man. Okay, so the bird will also lead me to story related quests. It doesn't only lead me to rewards. I thought it only led to rewards. But I guess this is the second time it's led to some kind of story related quest line or a person that has a quest. So I need to just keep this in mind that this is actually what the birds do. They also lead you to quest lines and stuff. So we shouldn't be too eager to follow birdies necessarily. Follow the birdies, yes. But don't be too eager. You never know if some needs to quest. Arri Arakai stay at a farmhouse nearby. Strike. They'll know where the main where? force is coming. Where's the bamboo strike? Bamboo strike? Bamboo strike? Bamboo strike? Bamboo strike. Here we go. Cut bamboo. Uh ba ba ba. Easy. Ba 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 ba. Is it? Ba, one, two, three, four, five. What? Are there only three, I guess? Ah! I need three, I guess? Guess this one isn't possible. It's impossible. Oh, I'm the world's greatest game there ever was in the history of the world. You just don't get as good as I am at games, man. It's not possible. It's just not possible, guys. Yeah, I know. You're all very impressed. You're like, oh my god, he got his first go. First go? Wow. Impressive. I know. What can I say? I'm just that good. Okay, sweet. Let's head back to the house. I do see what seems to be an upper level that I definitely did not explore. So, I'm going to see if we can find the, the way to the upper level. I also want to explore on the back side of the house. What? I'm busy, woman. I love. Trust me, I think it's way more important than you. Which is AKA. The lad, this lad should be here. There we go. The lad is always here. These houses are pretty much designed the same. At least. Mostly. Not always, though. But mostly. Hmm. Kind of a, a little bit of a lit down, but that's okay. <gasps> Wee. <clears throat> Man, I didn't really want to do a new quest line at all. <clears throat> it's kind of a problem, but you know. We really committed. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to go on that roof, so. Yeah, there's definitely nobody going on that roof. 
<clears throat> Not that I can see at least. Okay. Should we just do a quest line since we're here and we unlocked it by accident? I guess. Let's fucking do it. Whatever. Fuck it. Let's go. Uh, where is my horsey? Hello, horsey. Let's go. A good horse. It is a good horse. I must admit. <laughs> Follow the woman to the farm. As a child, I dreamed of becoming a samurai. Now I'm riding with a real one. Well, you know how to fight and handle a horse. My village was constantly raided by pirates on the coast. They killed my parents when I was young. I learned to defend myself. I hope the skills I gained through hardship can be of use to the people here. You're not so different from a samurai. My lord, you flatter me. What is the definition of a samurai? Do you have to be trained? Do you have to be trained in the way of a samurai? Can we maybe gallop? Yeah. Yes, we can. Thank God. Man, we're straying off our path. The farmhouse. Motherfuckers! That did not work out. Excuse me, sir. You don't want to do this, dude. Are you winning? You are not winning alone. Oh! You are the wrong type of enemy. Easy. These are the men I, I cannot supposed to meet. loot any of these people. Yeah, they farmers and dudes, they can't really fight. But I feel I still feel like they should have won. Found them. They and found number the game force too. I should have come sooner. We can still warn the others. Hear that? They might have found the main force. We have to help them. Hurry, my lord! Wait! Nobu! Oh, I was, my mic was muted. God fucking damn. I was giving a whole ma massive speech of sexiness. Didn't realize my, my mic was muted the whole time. Coming! We're too late. Doesn't matter, we can still kill them all. We can't save everyone. Then I will avenge the dead. The samurai remains calm before a fight. Wait, this is where I was. Wait. I've been here! Remember guys, I still said... Can we do a standoff please? Standoff please. Standoff please. She's not gonna allow me to do a standoff, is she? I think I hit his shield. The master tiny. Oh, Ek verstaan. Ah, je bent het hier staat maar lekker. Excuse me, sir. Fuck you. Excuse me, sirs. She's gonna die. I refuse to let her die. Oh my God, she almost died. You cannot almost die, lady. It's really bad. Where are you going? Seriously, where the fuck are you going? We did it. You suck. You almost died like three times. What the fuck? Actually, you did die one time. See, so I was here earlier, and I mentioned that this place doesn't make any sense because this place got a bunch of dead people. Uh, it's got a, like what looks to be a bunch of dead people and a destroyed area, but there's no dead people or destroyed area. And I didn't understand it, remember? I said it doesn't make any sense. And this is why. This is why. It was a quest line area. Very interesting in my opinion. 
We did it. Must be dead. You have skill, but you nearly died rushing into battle. Don't the Mongols anger you? A samurai's most important weapon is himself. Lose control, and you risk defeat. I see. I should return home. Learn to master my emotions. Keep fighting. We need people like you. But remember the lesson. I will, my lord. Okay. Kind of worked out great. Because we kind of like didn't leave our side of the map. <laughs> I fucked up a little bit of the combat there. I'm not going to lie to you. For Shum... For Tsushima. Ozzy. What's that, Ozzy? Ozzy just wants a little bit of love, Jen. Give those some love. Yeah, love it, Ozzy. He's a boozy. He's a good. Charm of the Hidden Sight. Style charm. Nice. Nice. Nope. Uh, up. Charm of the Hidden Sight. Enemies stop hunting for. Enemies stop hunting for you 40% faster. Yeah, no, fuck no. We do not need that. It's fine. I never get uh, seen, so I don't need That's to. That's my noble. I don't need it. Okay, let's look at our map. Oh, we ran, we ran from here to here. That's like, it. Kind of works out great. That actually works out amazingly good. Let's go, Nobu. Where do you want to go? Yeah, this is actually this is perfect. A little bit of this through the forest street. Beautiful. What is that, dear? The fuck happened here? It's like a little peaceful pond with a fuck ton of dead people. It's like, hey, look at this beautiful peaceful pond area, and everyone's dead. It's kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie to you. Kind of like why? Now, why is everyone dead in what looks to be a very peaceful pond? Are these guys still killed, I guess, again. Yeah. Yep, yep, sucks to be you guys. Okay, so we're gonna wanna go here to that little area where the farmers were because we wanna explore that area a bit. Oh, is there a way down here peacefully? Nope, uh, it's just death. Go around then, it's fine. Will the time consume us? Okay. Why would be time consuming and it's not dead? That's also, this is actually working out fucking great because we also, um, unintentionally or intentionally, I'm not entirely sure yet. We're also clearing out the fog, a wall, at the same time. So it works out fucking great. I always think that's a fox now, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, that's that weird pond. That really weird pond that looks like, hey, look at the beautiful peaceful pond. And there's just a ton of dead people. You know? Okay, the farmhouse should have been this way. It should be like right there. It should be right there. Maybe around that corner. First, want to go and uh, yo, Mongolians. Come here and What's fight. What's up, Mongolians? Oh, Big Daddy wants to die first. I love Big Daddy. I'm a big. I'm a big daddy. Look at me. I'm so big. And I'm dead. Oh, I'm a big daddy too. And I'm dead. No, but I'm just a small guy. Don't kill me. And you're dead. And before that guy can even react. He's fucking dead. And before that guy can even react, nope, he's still not dead. Um, don't kill my Mongol eagles. The Mongols have an eye in the sky. If their eagles see you, it will look nearby enemies. Mm. Bitch, fuck your eagle. Fuck your eagle. Your fucking eagle, motherfucking e they trained eagles. Where are you going, good sir? Every time we have to have this conversation, where are you going? It's the part no one understands. There's nowhere to go. There's nowhere. You're dead. Just accept it. Just accept it. It's oh Help no. Me. You're very lucky I can't hit you. I would kill you, but. What? Really? Okay. What's up, dude? It's your lucky day, I'm motherfucker. All right. Isn't that Songun? 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 The guy betrayed they caught me at the crossroads north of Tsutsu. They take everyone who passes by. They're controlling the roads to capture travelers. But why are you traveling but on the roads? Work. 
Is there anything that can stop them? I'll try. Me. But avoid that crossroads for now. I can stop them. It is I. Only I can do it. Okay, we wanted to come here to explore this uh, map updated. Map updated. It's like on the other side of the fucking world. How did they capture you there, but you're here? But it, it, it literally doesn't even make sense. Like, the, just think about it. Look where we are and look where they are. They caught him and carried him all this way here to lock, to tie him up so I could save him here. That makes no sense. A, they would have killed him, or B, they would have took him to a specific location where they have many people trapped, not just a singular person. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm not, I could be wrong, don't get me wrong, but I think I'm not. Tukunai, very nice. Dude, dude, fuck out. can you move? You're just standing there waiting to get caught by the Mongols again. It would have been cuck funny if they had this guy who just kept getting caught by the Mongols over and over and over, and you kept saving him over and over. And it gets like, later on, like, it turns like, Fucking face palming, like, oh, sh not this fick again. Can't believe you got caught. You got caught by the Mongols again. Don't you learn your lesson? You know, it's something like that. I think that would have been hilarious. Just, I know the game is like set in Japan and Japanese people and the Japanese or uh, stereotype, but it's not really. I'm not saying it's. Uh. Ten out of ten game, by the way. Ten out of ten game. I'm not gonna judge the game too harshly, but I mean, come on, dude. <laughs> you have a fucking door standing straight up with zero support structure. Gravity would not allow that to happen. Okay. Nine motherfucking bamboo. Damn, son. Nine. It's a lot. A lot of bamboo. Okay, sweet. So we've actually cleared out the sections. Now we're gonna go across the river. Here we go. Make that our next destination and then go. So we know how to do it. Gentle swipe. Gently swipe. I was aggressively swiping this whole time. But you don't want it. You want it to... Um. Um. Oh, motherfucking thunder again, dude. Every goddamn time. Okay, so. I'm going to do a little bit of running to speed up the process a tiny bit. But I think we're doing very well in the game. I'm just really enjoying this uh, approach of... Okay, I'll open it. I'll open it. Where's the ambush? No ambush? I expect an ambush. Um, I'm enjoying this. I'm really enjoying this approach of just like... Clearing out the fog of war and going from section to section. I'm having a I'm having a fucking blast, dude. I'm actually enjoying it so much. I'm having a great time playing this game right now. I just like this. Are you coward? It feels like I can do whatever I want to do, you know, type situation. I'm really liking that. Like I want to do it. I want to do Masakayo's storyline. Do it. I want to uh, chill. Do it. I want to fucking stand up and kill this guy. Do it. I want to stand up and kill this guy. Do it. I want to stand off and kill this guy, do it. I like it. What are you doing, sir? What are you doing? I, I'm, I'm just really enjoying the game right now. I mean, I've been enjoying the game. I've been enjoying the game for a while now, don't get me wrong. It's not like I've blew the game up until this point. No, no, I've been enjoying the game right now, but I, I'm truly... Look at that guy. Look at this guy. He's supposed to be on watch. This motherfucker. Excuse me? It's in the sky. My destination's in the sky. This motherfucker is supposed to be in, be on watch this whole fucking time. And he's not. And that makes me mad. I don't know if I can hit this, that guy. That guy seems like he's a little far, but. I'm gonna do it. Supplies. Should we stealth it? Or should we arrow them? Or should we just run in and kill them? Is there a start option? Start option underneath the uh, river there? Maybe. You arrived your check. Uh, kill enemy with kunai, find and observe the Mongol. Find and observe the Mongol leader. I never understand that find and observe the Mongol leader part. Can anyone explain that to me? Because it keeps saying kill or observe. I don't know how to observe, okay? So as far as I can tell in this game, your options are kill or kill. Those are it. That's it. That's the options. Option A, kill. Option B, kill. Option C, you fucking guessed it. 
fucking kill. Okay, I do have my kunai equipped. That's great. <laughs> Gotta kill two enemies with kunai for the bonus. I don't know how exactly I'm gonna do that, but, you know. Luckily, we did take out that dude. Wait, where am I now? Oh, I see. I understand. I understand. Okay, um... Luckily, I did take out the one dude, the one watcher. On this side, so... Kill two enemies with kunai. And observe the... Observe the Mongol leader. It's actually kind of nice because if you take out the guys on top of these things, they um they don't alert other people because their bodies are on top of the things and the other people never see the bodies. Now in real life, or at least in like a more realistic situation, I missed. There's no way I missed. I don't believe that for one second. Okay, so that's roughly the height we want. It is a pretty fast shot, actually. We do need to be slightly higher than normal. Kind of that... Kind of almost feel like that second area. Mm. <sighs> ah, fuck. That was a bad shot. That, I, I knew I was going to miss, actually. I could tell I was going to miss. I wasn't too concerned. I was kind of just like, let it go. It's fine. Okay. Not, not a lot of people here though. Kill two enemies with kunai. That's gonna be hard. Cause I don't think there's I don't think there's even two enemies left to kill with the kunai. Is the problem. I think there's only the leader left. Kill one more enemy with the kunai. I feel like there's only the leader left. And then the dude, the one archer I could never hit because I am the most inaccurate uh, archer ever in the show the world. I guess I could try and kill. What are you doing, Mongol leader boy? I'm, I'm, I'm observing him. What now? You say observe him. I'm observing. What now? Explain to me what I do now. If I sneak past you like this, none of you guys will see me, right? Did you see me? You did see me. Leader killed, I guess. <laughs> One kunai to the throat and he died. And I learned the wind stance. Nice. Wind stance. I'm gonna learn all the stances pretty quickly. Wind stance highly effective against spears and axes. Ooh, interesting. Uh, effective in spearmen, heavy attack to extra deck, stagger damage. Oh, spear breaker, typhoon kick, and then char change stances. Yeah, we know that. Did I kill him with the kunai? Though I think I can kill him with the kunai. Objective complete. Uh, a bonus objective complete. So that means I did kill him with the kunai. Okay, so they want me to switch to instance. <laughs> Let's quickly around so we can test instance out. So that is the. Okay, it's weird. I like this stance more. I still don't understand the part of where they keep saying, uh, they keep saying I must observe people. Game, I don't know if you've been paying attention. It's impossible. It's absolute. Nope, 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 nope. Definitely don't want to mount. The Mongol horse. I have my own horse. Thank you very much. 
I would never betray my own horse by mounting a mongo horse. I refuse. That wasn't too clean. That wasn't too clean. I got sawn by the enemy, first of all. Um, I mean, I did do the bonus objective. I missed a shit ton of shots. So, no, that wasn't clean at all. That was actually a little bit uh, embarrassing to a tiny extent. Uh, and not 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 a, not on par for what I should be be able to do at this point in the game. I feel I feel like I, I did a pretty bad job on this on this area. But you know, at the end of the day, we killed everybody. We uh, got the bonus, and isn't that all that really matters? I think so. I think it is. We another Mongol camp found and liberated, which is also all that really matters. I'm gonna loot all the gear. Some food here. No, yeah, I kind of. My problem is I kind of dig the Mongol setup. Okay, so there is a Mongol artifact or at least some kind of collectible somewhere s nearby because my controller has been vibrating for the last like 10 minutes straight. Just have no idea where. There we go. It's probably that iron. Nope, that's iron. Not maybe not checking this house yet. Mongol artifacts. There we go. Mongol artifacts. Pazai. The Pazai is a special tablet given to Mongol officials and envoys the entitled and envoys that entitled them to some privileges, such as the use of special supply points, as well as the ability to conscript goods and services from the civilian population. They also just they're also distributed overseas to merchants as a means of strengthening their ties to the Mongol Empire. Okay. So if we see any Japanese with a, one of those Pazais, kill them, because that means they work for the Mongols. Okay, this area should be liberated. Bloop, liberated. Ah, liberation. America's best export ever. Okay, I feel like we have uh, cleared out this area. Let's head on down here and clear out this last little bit of war fog. And then we can go back to the other side of the map and actually start exploring there again. Because that means this section where Lady Mas Masako is, is actually completed then. As far as I can tell. Okay. See, this is like this is like this is Lady Masako section. This is Sensei Ishikawa section. There's gonna be someone else's section, and each of them will have. It looks like everyone has their own kind of semi sections right now, which is kind of cool. Dude, I'm I'm actually loving the way I'm actually loving the lay. I'm loving the layout and the planning of the world a lot more than the actual gameplay or story part of the of the game. <laughs> I just really dig the layout and I just really dig the planning. Of this world and how it works everything is so um systematical and beautiful and i love it but didn't i get the roll i got the roll as soon as we land from a high position didn't i i'm sure i did there's a mongo on me okay if i walk on the straight path you guys have to stand off you have no choice you have to stand off stand off stand off Hello? Can we stand off maybe guys? Stand off? Nope. Why can I not stand off anymore? Or why can I not stand off in this specific area? I shot his... I shot his uh, shield three times. I missed. <laughs> Wait, let's do a uh, water stance. Okay. Oh, not water stance, wind stance. Sorry. Why can't I stand off in this area? The game will not. The game will just not let me stand off in this area. This area is unstandoffable. It's kind of weird. I do not like it. I want to be able to do standoffs because standoffs are my favorite part of the game. Not my favorite part of the game. That's be a lie. My favorite part of the game is the exploration and shit like that, but it's a very fun part of the game that I like. What is here? Oh, just the bamboo strike area. Oh yeah, I forgot about I kinda of forgot about that already. Sweet! Sakai Tanto upgrade available. Ooh, we can upgrade our Sakai Tanto to the third firm, which gives us the 100 percent stealth. Um gives us the 100 percent stealth thing. Who's winning this fight, by the way? The bear or the person? 
But I feel like the bear one. And he's dead. Dead. Oh! Fire hurts! Fire hurts! I repeat, fire hurts! Everyone's like, no shit. Okay, um, should we upgrade our Sakai Tanto to the highest available level? Uh, level 3, which uh, gives us 100% stealth kill quietness, I guess, is if that's how you can say that. Or should we upgrade our sword? Wait, what? What all can we upgrade? Oh, there's a gift available too. Nice! We also want the gifts, so let's keep that in mind. I feel like once I've explored this area, I'm pretty much done here. Yeah, it feels like we're pretty done here. I think I see a dead body over here, so we just go ex examine. Dead bodies usually mean some kind of collectibles of some kind. Sweet. And uh, yeah, it looks like Gucci. Looks Gucci, guys. Is that a bear again? That is 100% a bear, isn't it? I missed. I wasn't even close. Nope, that was exactly it hit him. Fuck. I didn't miss. I thought I missed. I, I really thought I missed. It looked like I missed, but I didn't. Sorry, bear. Nothing personal, kid. But uh, you give me a lot of predators, which I need. What is this? Are those enemies or those people hanging from a tree that are dead? Those people hanging from a tree that are dead. Okay, dude. What the fuck? What the fuck? Who did this? Sano. Come and fight! I don't know who's that's coming to fight. But people are coming to fight, so that's all that matters. There's quite a lot of you. What are you doing? Dude? What are you doing? Oh, nice. I got to take out the strongest guys first. Which then left the weaklings. I don't need to use the fucking flaming arrows. Uh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. What you get? What you get? I did miss one on my parries, but okay. I keep pushing the wrong buttons. Okay. Do not have, do not have flaming arrows equipped unless you're killing bears. I only have normal arrows equipped. I guess I sh I don't need to do the arrow thing every time after I help you. Why? What are you? What are you gonna give me? If I help you, can you give me a quest line? Then I'll do it. You'll be free soon. You give me a quest line, I'll do it. If you don't, uh, fuck you. The best day of my life, my lord. You're safe now. I'd be honored if you had this. He actually gave me something. I was debating. I was. I didn't mean it. I was making. A, 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 I was memeing. What did I get though? Tell me what I got. What did I get though? Stand up again. Hey. Hello guys, I know we just did this, but uh, let's do it again. I like how they get off their horse so that they don't, you know, ride me down with the horse and kill me. You know, just to keep it fair and, and nice. Don't do it! Don't do it! Okay, I'm warning you, don't do it, dude. Don't do it, don't do it. I, tr I tried. I mean, in my defense, I tried. Are you gonna do it too? Don't do it. Oh my puppy, I loaded. Excuse me, sir. Don't do it. Okay, just because you put a bow, I got a bow. We'll do both. Do both. Two wins. I want. Okay, nice. Put water on yourself, dude. But give me my arrow back. Thank you. Okay, sweet. Look, guys. In my defense, I warn them every time. I do warn them. I I tell them, don't do it. Don't. Don't do it. The fact that they don't listen has nothing to do with me. Okay? This is fucked up, guys. Can we cut these people down or something? Please? Maybe? I don't know. Sweet. I'm going to head on over to the... Hiyoshi Bamboo Strike, apparently. I was not going to actually go to the Bamboo Strike. I was actually just going to go to Hiyoshi. I want to go see... I want to go explore where Hiyoshi, guys. See if there's any quest lines, talkables, stuff like that. Of course, go check out uh, all the um, things such as the Trapper, etc, etc. Because we can't. Oh, we can look at naked people too. Nice. Hello, naked people. How you doing? How you doing? Hello, hello, hello. It is I. Hello. 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 I haven't seen any quest line type people yet. Uh, you're just the guy that gives me different colored clothes, which I'm not too interested in right now. 
I unfortunately have to stop recording after this episode, which kind of sucks. I'm kind of like really enjoying the game, so I want to record a little bit more, but my voice is starting to hurt a lot, and my head is hurting a lot. Um, mainly just because of thinking and concentrating, as well as commentating and wearing this headset, which is crushing my fucking ears. So, it's, I'm happy yeah. To offer my services. Kunai. Flamingo, no. I want to upgrade my kunais. Yes. Yes. An excellent choice. Fully upgraded my kunai. Smoke bomb. Why, okay, why not? Fuck it. Let's do it. I hope it helps. Sweet. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Until we next meet. Uh, next stop is this one. Survivor camp. Want to see if there's anyone that's talkable or questionable in the survivor camp at all. I also kind of noticed a little bit of a pattern here. Survivor camp. In this section, survivor camp, and only one in this section. So there's probably going to be a survivor camp in this section, and etc. 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 I I love it. I love the fact that they did this. That they kind of split the world up into multiple little worlds that I can almost explore and kind of. Do you ever give anything new? Or well, these it's just these five: Sea Dragon, Empress, Snow, Prowler. Yes, you only give those five ever, right? And this one is the same. Do not have a longbow. These two are the same. It's the same. Don't have those. And these are just hats I can buy from you. Patrick Straw Hat or the Fierce Warrior's Headband. Held the Renate Fury of a Warrior. Actually, that fits my look Use quite a lot. To defeat the invaders. So I'm going to equip it. Fearless Headband. Where is it? Fierce warrior's headband. It kind of fits my look. I like it. Okay. Um, no one to talk to for quest related things. It seems here, which is fine. It's okay. I just want to check. I just want to check. So now we we'll do it our next uh, location, which is get a gift and upgrade our tanto or our warrior's armor. I think I'm gonna upgrade the tanto though for uh, maximum silent killing. Any quest lineable available? Does not seem so. We'll keep an eye out though and listen to people that talk to us along the way, maybe. Collect. A hundred supplies! For free! Who's a traitor? If you tell me who the traitor is, I'll kill him. Allow me to keep your katana light and sharp. Boom! Your Maxed out Sakai Tanto. Assassinate enemies faster and assassinate enemies more quietly. Maxed out, baby. Maxed out. What do we need for this? You Everything don't in the world. Have what okay. we need to do the work. Yes, I know, because I gotta pay you for some odd reason that I'm still not entirely 100% sure about myself. I never got that linen? Or did that linen get added? It would be cool if the more people I rescue in the world, the more items get added to this area for me to collect. But they don't just straight up give it to me, I gotta actually collect it. That would be pretty cool. What do I need for my next travelers? My just money. Only money. I mean, I don't want the next travelers because the next travelers only gives me 60 artifact, which I don't care about. Um, we can do this one right now. Do we do it? Fuck it. Let's do it. Boom. Nothing stronger. Nice. We are. If we wear that, we will actually be pretty strong. Holy shit. Farewell. Wait, I don't want this hat on. What is this shit hat? Why am I wearing this hat? Wait, what? What? Samurai clan helmet? Fuck no. Where's my head? Yes. Fierce warrior headband. And I don't want this upgraded version. It looks cool, but I want the Travis attire instead. Yeah. Yeah, that's my gen. That's the gen I want. I want to see his sexy face. I want to see Jen's face. What's the point of playing the game if you don't get to see Jen's face? Plus, I want the fog of war discovery because look at my map, dude. Look at it. It's fucking beautiful. I actually need to go do this upper section, but that's Castle Canada, so I don't think we can do that yet. So, what's our next destination? So, I think in the next episode, we teleport to Salt Windy State. Actually, no. Next episode, we teleport to Arakai Bamboo Strako. And we do the Sake. It's the value of Sake. And then we explore this entire map. And we will end off here. Uh, we should actually... Should we go here to Azimo Bay and then go to the Broken Blacksmith? No, no, no. Because we have to get into Azimo Bay. So, we should actually go from Sake straight to Yuna into Azimo Bay, complete this section, and then go up here. Or go over here and explore this, go up here, then explore this, and like this. I don't know, we'll, we'll do this inside section. But I, I can clearly see here is a river. Uh, right here, you see. 
da -da -da. you can kind of see it under the map under the fog of the map it goes through there so all of that has to get explored see this section here so that sweet and then we will backtrack up here all the way to here we will finish at Masasako's uh, thing where her husband or whatever family died or whatever blah, 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 and that will be that for now though thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Ghost of Shima. if you enjoyed it please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button it helps me a lot and I really really do appreciate it if you guys want to see the more check out my channel it will, I am not releasing every day unfortunately due to work and life reasons um, if you guys do want to help me potentially get to the point of doing youtube and twitch streaming full time where i will release two videos a day and stream every single day for five hours minimum uh continue looking to links in description below that will be the best way to help me i've got a personal idea in my brain and if i ever for whatever crazy reason reach that idea of like support from my viewers and my my my, my community and just you guys that do watch my videos i really really appreciate it i will uh, i will actually do this i will make the transition to trying to do this full time but it's a long 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 way away and not anything that's going to be happening anytime soon i don't think or ever potentially so you know it's just a, it's just a dream it's just a dream but for now thank you guys very much for watching i'll see you guys next time with more ghost of the shima